I'm Chris. This is Heaven. This is Sweets and Treats. Heaven isn't broadcasting from Florida because she's here. <laughs> so tonight we're not going to cover, we're going to pick up when Heaven gets back to Florida next Tuesday. Well, she will not get back to Florida next Tuesday, but she will be in Florida next Tuesday. We will pick up our series where we left off at Hollywood Studios. Mm -hmm. So, but tonight we're just going to go over, uh, there is... I don't know if you've heard of this website. It's called Polka Dots and Pixie Dust. Hey, Birdwell. And uh, they've got their uh, the best snacks and the best restaurants of each park. And we're going to try and go through that. But then we're also going to go, if hopefully we have time, we're going to go over some of the new park merchandise as well. So let's go ahead and get started. So the only place to start is Magic Kingdom, right? Sure. All right. So share the screen. We want to share that one. Here we go. All right. So like I said, polka dots and, and pixie dust and their best snacks at Magic Kingdom, Walt Disney World. So I don't think that's their best snack. That's just the picture for the beginning. Where to find the best snacks at Magic Kingdom. So they've got Sleepy Hollow, and then they have the Nutella. The Nutella waffle. The Nutella waffle, which I think looks good. I I really want to try it. It's fantastic. Yeah. It's so big, though. You definitely should probably have two people. Yeah. I mean, maybe not. Hey, Katrina. Hey, Mar. Hi, everyone. So, yeah, I, I've been wanting to try this. I, I, I'm hoping to try it the next time. I think one of my favorite snacks. I think it would. You say it's a snack. I think it could be something for breakfast quick in the morning. Well, yeah, probably. Yeah. But that's something I've been wanting to do. And uh, I can't wait to get back down there because I didn't get to try this the last time. <laughs> She's not a fruit fan. Okay. Heaven is. No. Yes. Yeah. Heaven's here. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, You'll kind of see why Heaven's here for our adventure video on Thursday. So, but, uh, so up next, they're saying. But I won't be here on Thursday. No, she won't be here on Thursday. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, I will be. Yes, she will be, <laughs> but she won't, she won't, she'll, she'll, she's, I think she's in the video. So, yeah. all right. So next up, they got spring rolls at the snack cart at Adventureland. Fantastic. Which. You know, they usually have all different kinds. They have the cheeseburger, the pepperoni. Uh, I think uh, one time they had mac and cheese. Or yeah. I don't I th think they was had Was that mac and cheese and bacon, wasn't it? Something like that. I I've only so. ever had the the pepperoni and, or the pizza, I don't know, pepperoni and cheeseburger. Birdwell. I'll eat it if it has zero calories. It sounds like you're going to be drinking lots of water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Good thing it's free. Uh, my favorite is the pepperoni pizza. Yeah, same. So I can do without the dip. It tastes, yeah, yeah, I don't it, need the dip. it really wasn't that great. The marinara sauce that they give you, mm -hmm. but although I will say, so I've never actually had the cheeseburger one, but I've heard that it's very mixed very well. Like it's, I think it comes with what mustard and relish. Yeah, I think um, so. Yeah, and I've heard that it's like mixed very well. Um, I would say the pepperoni one might. It could use just a little bit more cheese. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, the thing is, is also the cheeseburger. I've seen other people try to make them. And a lot of times they say they don't get enough mustard in it. So it must have a real mustard taste to it, which I like mustard. So that's not a big thing. For me. Uh, I'm getting better with it. I'm probably going to try these ones soon. But yeah. So yeah. And usually I, do they move this card around or is it always usually in the same spot? Uh, I think it bounces back and forth from right there at the front of Adventureland by the sign. Right. Um, and then over just to the right of the Jungle Cruise. Okay. Okay. So uh, let's see. Next up is the cinnamon rolls at Gaston. Oh we gosh. did try this the last time. You have to have a buddy. Yes. <laughs> I, well, Gonzo didn't. Okay. Gonzo well, ate one all by himself while we were down there. So I, I need a buddy. I was amazed that Gonzo ate an entire cinnamon roll. So, but yeah, this was awesome. The other thing that's really good there is LaFuse Brew. I really liked I it. Too. And then you guys tried the gray stuff there. Yeah. Yeah. 
But somebody told me the gray stuff is different than what it is there. You mean like in the, I, I don't know what it actually is. Yeah. Um, it might be, I don't know. Right. But, but I, I just, I love the way Gaston's tavern was set up and all the stuff inside. It was really neat. Mm -hmm. So their next one is the Peter Pan float. Now I haven't had this. I have. And it's at Storybook Treats and Fantasyland. Mm -hmm. And what did you think of it? Oh, it's very refreshing. You have to be a fan of the key lime ice cream. So it's, is it, what is it? Key lime ice cream and Sprite? Yep. It's a key lime ice cream, Sprite, and then the feather is white chocolate. Awesome. And it's, it's good. It's, it, like I said, it's very refreshing. That's what, when people, when I worked there and people would walk by and I would say, oh, you look kind of hot. Go get a Peter Pan. <laughs> 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 um, or if they told me they'd hot, they were hot. I'd say, oh, refreshing. Go get a Peter Pan's float. So next up on Polka Dots and Pixie's Dust as best snacks at Magic Kingdom is, oh, there's a picture of Storybook Treats, is Dole Whip and Dole Whip Float. Now, I've never had a Dole Whip Float. I have. I've had a Dole Whip. I've had a Dole Whip of rum. And I think the best thing that I had was um katrina you just don't like a lot of things do you? <laughs> <laughs> one of the best things that i had was uh the dole whip on the pineapple, pineapple ups, upside down, down cake. cake that was awesome it was very good so hey danny thanks for coming in but yeah so you know i i like dole whip uh, I've never had the other what what's the other the citrus swirl uh, I've never had the citrus swirl that one's pretty good too yeah so let's see. This is might be their last one. Nope. Loaded buffalo chicken tots at Friar Nooks. Okay, I've not had this. Um, I don't know that I would want this just because I'm not a big fan of buffalo chicken. But they also have the low or the bar bacon mac and cheese on top of the tater tots oh, at yeah. Friar's Nook. Oh wow! And I want to try that. But I think it would be almost too much. Right, right. I don't I don't know if I would like this actually myself. So I like tater tots, but I just like tater tots the way they are. Mm -hmm. So so and then next up we have the Cheshire Tales at the Cheshire Cafe. Is that open now? Um it wasn't when I still worked there. I I <laughs> well with being Casey's is open now. You figure maybe this place might Listen, be Listen, Dad, I work there maybe once a week. <laughs> All right. So I like this. It's really good. Uh, it's a chocolate filled pastry. It's like a, yeah, it's a, pas yeah. a, a, pa a pastry is what I just about said. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pastry. Uh, yeah. And it's got the chocolate chips and the icing. Yeah. Oh, it's delicious. Yeah. It's really, really good. So, uh, and then the last one I have never even heard of. But it's that Big Top Souvenirs. What? They have the goosey, Goofy Glaciers. Yeah, they're the slushies. Yeah, I, I see they're slushies. But I I don't think oh I ever got one or anything like that. I mean, I don't think I've ever gotten one. At least not in Magic Kingdom. Right, right. I was trying to see if they told what flavors they were. I'm going to take... Uh, blue raspberry and cherry. Okay. So, I mean, it or looks like it would be good. I'm pretty sure it's There's cherry. just so many different snacks. It's just mm -hmm. hard to try all of uh, them. They've got some that are similar to the Goofy's Glaciers with rock candy on the straw oh wow those are over at prince eric's that village sounds, market that sounds like uh trying to get diabetes so it <laughs> sounds like but uh so that was it i believe nope no oh, oh yeah goodness. nope that was it yep that was the best snacks they've chose from magic kingdom now we're gonna go to the best uh best magic kingdom restaurants that uh did I say polka dots and pixie dust mm -hmm. is chose. So, all right, best rest, best and magic what to skip and what to skip. Okay, so let's see. They have the Magic Kingdom restaurants we recommend is be our guest, and it's of course I think everybody knows where it's at. If you don't know where it's at, it's at the very back of Fantasyland. Mm -hmm. And uh, it says, who doesn't love Beauty and the Beast? Be our guests. A lot of hype and a lot of grief. It, as one of Disney's more popular restaurants, it's sometimes hard to get reservations here. But for us, it's totally worth the effort and the experience. 
I don't know. We've ne I've never ate there. I've eaten there once. Um, and they were they were very generous because me who worked that day accidentally got a reservation for eight a.m. I worked <laughs> at seven forty-five a.m. I thought the reservation was for 8 p.m. and showed up like, yeah, hey, I've got reservations for dinner. And they were like, yeah, hey, no, you, you had reservations for breakfast. Mm -hmm. And they said, it's cool. We've got a table for you. It's just two of you. Come on in. Awesome. And I ate off the kids meal because uh, I'm not a big fan of French inspired food. Right. And it, the wait staff was awesome. Uh, the like the ambiance of the place was cool and everything, but like again, I'm not I'm not a real big fan of French food, so All right, right. I I would skip it. And Sandy, you said you'll eat it if it has zero calories. I've been always told because of the magic at Magic Kingdom that calories don't count there. I've so. been told calories don't count on vacation, so or your birthday <laughs> or holidays, All weekends. Right. Really, they don't count. Like um <laughs> So let's see. The next one they recommend is Liberty Tree Tavern. Now, it's interesting. Yeah. So I liked. We ate there last time we was there. Yeah, we ate there with favorites. Kelly and Gonzo, and uh, this was yeah. It was it was it was Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Is what it was. It was awesome. It was really it was really good. It is. I I tried to get my roommates to go there last week. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, let's just get a reservation just to go get dinner. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know why they got the Nutella. No, I don't either. There. I don't think you can get that there. But they, yeah, the ooey gooey toffee cake. Oh my gosh, it's delicious. Yes, it was really good. But I think they brought us each our own <laughs> for their yeah, last time. Yeah, so we didn't have to worry about Kelly trying to cut her fingers off with a spoon. Oh, so. man. <laughs> so let's see. Uh, what, what do they pick next? Sleepy Hollow. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Is that's that what, what it that's was? That's why the picture is there. Okay. They, okay. Yeah, it looks like the picture should be above now. Okay, that's all right. So Sleepy Hollow. So Sleepy Hollow is in Liberty Square. While some of the, of the other walk-up counter services, restaurants, and Magic Kingdom tout your basic theme park fare, Sleepy Hollow kicks things up a notch with a variety of waffle sandwiches. Okay. So... Obviously, they're going to pick this since it was one of, one of their pick for the well, best snacks. They only talk about the Nutella and strawberry waffle. And like like I said, I think it's delicious. I get that. But I know they also have like a chicken waffle sandwich. Um, they have beignets. Oh, wow. Or they might not anymore, but they did. At one point, they had like a cinnamon roll ice cream sandwich. I don't oh, know. wow. So, uh, so, polka dots and pixie. Well, they they like it. Pixie dust. They their next they picked is the Crystal Palace. Now I don't know how the Crystal Palace was or is right now, but I like it because it's a buffet. Mm -hmm. So I don't. Have really? we ate there besides breakfast? Um, I think we have. We've ate lunch. I, I don't think. know. I've I think I've only ever. Well, I've been for I've been for lunch with Mamo and Papal. I, wasn't the time that we seen one of your teachers from high school down there? Weren't we at at lunch? Dad, I don't really remember much past <laughs> working there. <laughs> I didn't know I ever saw a teacher from yeah, high school there. Yeah, it was. Uh, I can't remember her name, but uh, it's Mr. Brumley's daughter. Oh, Mrs. Van Camp. Yeah, because we had Kelsey with her. Oh. Uh, I into her. vaguely remember that. But I like this place. Uh, a lot of people, it's a character. So that's another thing. Uh, it's usually Winnie the Pooh and his uh, mm -hmm. hundred acre friends. It's them all. Yeah. Night. Yeah. And uh, I I had liked it. it. But I mean, like I said, uh, if you're there for breakfast, it's going to be like any other Disney breakfast. You're going to get scrambled eggs. You're going to get, uh, you I know, mean, sausage. Is, yeah. I, not even lunch. I think. It's going to be your very typical Disney buffet. Yeah. So, but usually at Disney, when it comes like breakfast. It's all the same. Yeah. You can't, you, it's, you can't go wrong with it. Bacon, eggs, waffles. Yeah. Sausage. Let's see. Uh, This one was one I liked. I don't think you and the girls like, or you or, or in your mom I like it. I think I would have to try it again. I would like to try it again. Skipper Canteen. Mm -hmm. I think it's one of the newer ones probably there. And I don't think we actually got the actual feeling that you were supposed to because mm -hmm. they knew we were new. 
but I think it's supposed to have somewhat of a feeling of the Jungle Cruise and mm -hmm. everything like that. And I'd like to go back for that. Uh, Haley had one dish there that I think probably is one of the dishes most people like that go in there. It was called, it tastes like chicken because it is chicken. And that's what Haley had. And Haley likes chicken. Uh, I don't know if you Haley remember. Haley really likes chicken. Yeah. When I picked her, she actually flew down to drive up with me for this trip. And when she landed, I said, do you want to get food? And if so, what? And she said, I don't care what it is, but chicken. And I said, now wait for this meal or for the week. And she said, for all of it. <laughs> I said, all right. Chicken it is. And this might be the last one for the Magic Kingdom. Oh, Katrina. What's that? She said, poop is so fun. <laughs> Poo. Uh-huh. Oh. But first she said oh, poop. She just misspelled it. Mm-hmm. That's all she used is chicken LO. She told us this. Yes, she did tell yeah. yes when we That's had her. About on. It. So they do have some of their uh almost made it, which is the Columbia ha Harbor House, almost made it, Cinderella's yeah. Royal Table, and Pinocchio Village House. Oh man, I love Pinocchios. Yeah. Yeah. Uh the Cinderella Royal Table. Uh I don't the last time I was there, it wasn't the food you were there for. Uh that's the first place I ever tried bacon, and I yeah. still eat it. So, but all right, so we're gonna move on over to Epcot <laughs> for the snacks, and we're still with the the polka dots and picky, pixie pixie dust, dust. <laughs> picks. So here we go. So best Epcot snacks and where to find them. Werther's popcorn. Yes. 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 I, you know what? I actually picked up a bag of this the other day. That's what you said. Yes. But uh, the best caramel corn I had ever had. Freshly made. Does not beat the maple corn, though. I thought you said it did beat the No, maple. it did not beat. I mean, I liked the maple corn. I love the maple corn. But where there is when it comes to caramel corn. Mm -hmm. is the best. It's the best. So, yeah, I you find it there in Germany. The best thing about it compared to the bag I bought the other day is it's still warm when you get it there in Germany. And that's probably one of the best things about it. Well, sometimes I think it depends on when you get it. Cause right. I think we might like, I think they just start putting new bags out. Okay. Cause so like, I think that was, I say it's fresh and it is fresh. It's like, they're constantly making that popcorn in there, but unlike the maple popcorn, you watch them do the maple popcorn oh, yeah. straight into the bag and give it to you. Whereas at the caramel shop they that you like are watching them make it and then they're bagging it in like a sealed bag and pushing it on to sell right right but yeah it's really good uh and i, I like it there's lots of stuff there at the caramel shop that's really good oh, they got yeah. the caramel flight yeah that's i love the caramel also flight. fantastic and we, i think we picked up some other stuff while we was there i can't remember what it was um your mom was buying different things. Yeah, while we was in there it. were a couple of things, but I don't remember. But it's it's really an awesome place to go in and get something, something just a snack on. Matter of fact, a lot of the stuff we got, we just took home with us. We really didn't even need mm -hmm. it while I was there. Uh, what is that? Kakagori? Oh, I think that's the, yeah, that's, so it's up above. It's again, they're doing the picture above. Oh. This is the ice. Okay, so this the frozen is frozen ice stuff. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I love that. The melon, the best flavor. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's when I'm real like warm at Epcot. If I'm nearby, that's what I'll go and get. I've never had this. I don't know anything about it. It's just like frozen ice. Like, or it's just it? like, um, you know, on Hawaii Five O, the one guy does it. He's got his like ice truck, like okay. flavored ice truck. Okay. But I didn't know that's what it was. Yeah. So. That's like what it is. I can't think of what. It, oh, shave ice. It's like yeah. shave ice. There okay. we go. But I mean, yeah, it looks like. Somebody took some snow, put it in a bowl, and added some flavoring. Yeah, they've got all different <laughs> kinds of flavoring. They've got some weird flavors, if I remember. I always get cool melon because I think that that's, like, super refreshing. Yeah. Okay. All right. So the next one, then, obviously, is American Dream, Fife and Drum, World Showcase America. So I'm going to take this. I don't know exactly what this is. I know it's a drink. Yes, Blue it's raspberry simple. and strawberry slushy with vanilla cream in the middle. Oh, Interesting. Wow. So it looks pretty good. Uh, Never I, had it. Neither have I. And um, I don't know how long it's been there either. The so. only thing I've ever gotten from Fife and Drum is alcohol. So. <laughs> <laughs> 
the popcorn is on my list when I'm there next month. Yes. Yeah. No, Katrina, I'm not sure Carver House doesn't make it. I don't like Carver House. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm upset Pinocchio's didn't make it though but yeah it's a uh, I mean if you gotta you gotta try the I we got we still got popcorn from when we went in January that's oh, still yeah, good you can still have yeah the... we got like the ones that you can buy in the store mm -hmm. so we got and it's it still stays fresh yeah so, well you just tie it up yeah but all right so they're next is oh yes I don't I think we've gone back to the mats Macron, uh, Macron, how do you, I don't eat ice macaron. cream, ice, ice cream sandwich. sandwich. So. And you get this back from that little shop, that little, that little oh, confectionery. It says down here just real quick. It says La Artisan de Glaces. Yeah. It's the little world confectionery back in France. Right. I think we've gone back there once and just looked, but people say like, it's such a missed spot. Like yeah. you have to hit it. They've got great baked goods back there. Wow. But I don't think I've ever gotten anything. It looks good. I don't know if that's like a strawberry flavor. That's or... what I would guess. Yeah. So they also have like a little ice cream shop back there that people miss. It's uh -huh. crazy. So, and then the next one they pick is, it looks like croissant donut cronut refreshment port. And that's at World Showcase Plaza. So it looks interesting. I don't know. I would probably try it. Um, maybe, yeah. I mean, I've never seen raspberries on anything before. But <laughs> you eat the raspberries first, and then you just eat it like a donut. I don't know. You could probably eat. I know. I was kidding. <laughs> but it looks it looks good. I'd like to try something like that. Dad, it's hot in here. I'm sorry. It's okay. So uh, then after that, it looks like they have. Hi, Jesse. Hey, Jesse. Uh, chips and guac. This is at Chosa de Margarita. Oh, we're in Mexico. So I I don't really care for guacamole. No. So. Mainly, I'm not a big fan of avocado. You know, I'd probably go with your mom and sister, and they could eat it, and I would eat some of the chips while they were eating the yeah, chips and yeah, guac. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, because I'm sure the chips probably taste pretty good. But, of course, I'd probably be, I don't know why that is. I would probably also be using a margarita, drinking a margarita. All right, Ooh, this next thing good. is an espresso affogato. And this is that Vivoli Il Gelato. Isn't that in Italy? Yeah. So that, yeah, that looks pretty good. I wonder what that is in there. Let's see. This little hitting Mickey float is a dark espresso with a scoop of ice cream and cookie straw. We just, a, it, that's a cookie straw? Yeah, that looks amazing. Oh, wow. We just love the rich hot coffee. Wow, that's really neat. I like that. It looks really good. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to go try that and tell yeah. my roommate about it too. Right. So, so I'm t so that's at Vivoli Il Gelato. Yeah. So let's you know, see. I really thought for Italy though that it would be the big pizzas from the pizza window. Oh, need that to open. Well, back this up. one, and then underneath there, there's egg rolls, Joy of Tea, World Showcase China. So you can get pork or vegetable egg rolls. I've heard they're good. Tea. So I, 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 you tell you the truth. I don't think I've ever had an egg roll. Well, I guess uh, isn't a spring roll basically an egg I roll. I don't think so. So I don't know, but yeah, I've never had an egg roll. So, and they don't have a picture for that. So next up is the banana pudding at the Regal Eagle Smokehouse Craft Draft and Barbecue. So this is at the American Pavilion there. The yeah, I'm going to be real honest. I didn't really care for the Regal Eagle. Really? <laughs> yep. I don't know. That looks pretty good. It's been a long time since I've had banana pudding. So, but that looks, it looks really good. Keanu's going to be working there. Oh, is she really? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. So, and then uh, they have a ham and Swiss croissant at Les Halles. I don't know how to say that, but I'm. it's in France. So, ham and Swiss croissant. So I don't know. I'm not big on ham and cheese. So um, I wasn't until I had like their little ham and cheese thing that they have during the festivals. Wow, delicious. Oh, okay, okay. So and then best snacks at Epcot. Okay, so that 
I believe that was it. it. They don't have any honorable mentions for that. They do that for the restaurants. All right. So then we'll move over to best ass Epcot restaurants that yep. are by polka po and polka dots and pixie dots. Yes. And what to skip. I mean, we haven't seen anything to skip. No. Yeah. All right. So let's see. So Tokyo Dining, the World Showcase, they're at Japan. There's so much amazing food to be had at Epcot and even more at the festivals. So I, so I. Like, are they just saying all of it? Yeah, I guess they are. So I, I've never ate at any place in Japan. Me either. And if the place we talked about was Teppanito's, mm -hmm. if we ever ate there. So I don't know. So I, if you're looking for a place to eat in Japan, maybe this is a place for you. But uh, I don't know. I. I probably have to check out the menu before I go. Right. So uh, next on their list is Lehala's, the one I couldn't say earlier. So, and this is in France, and it says they have breakfast sandwiches and decadent desserts. So, All right, interesting. Once again, I don't know much about it. I, I wonder don't... if it's the. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like maybe it's similar to like maybe it's like the little walk-in shop that i was talking about but i don't know the only part that gives me that idea is the gift shop interior they they don't even give you a, a paragraph like they did on the last yeah one. wait a minute do they really no, no that's, that's tokyo, tokyo dining, dining. maybe it it's below there it is oh, there this is one of the favorite places to grab an early breakfast before the World Show Showcase opens. Freshly baked croissants, breakfast sandwiches, and delectable little French pastries make this one of our favorite indulgence. Grab a mimosa or a cappuccino to go along with whatever you're having. It's the second best thing to actually being in a Parisian cafe. Enjoy it. So, so it has to be like an actual reservation place if you go in before World Chase the Showcase opens. What the heck is that? That's the Coke commercial. Okay. So let's see. The next one is La Cantina de San Angel. And that's, of course, in Mexico. And they say, we love the Mexican offerings here with classic tacos and burritos options. A great rice bowl, nachos, and empanadas. You really can't go wrong. Add in dining on the on the water, fast services, and some of the cheapest food in Epcot. And we find this to be a great lunchtime meal at the right price. So um, the only thing I eat that's Mexican is tacos. So <laughs> I'm sure you get tacos. Well, it says classic tacos. Yeah. So, but I'm not really big on Mexican food. So yeah, I've just never have been, but. But let's go move on. Sunshine Seasons. That's at the Lamb Pavilion. I don't. I've never ate there. I have. It's okay. Yeah. It's a quick service, and it is it does have a variety. Right. Such a variety of food offerings here can keep everyone in the family happy, from sandwiches to bowls, to some of the best desserts in Epcot. You can grab food at Sunshine Seasons while waiting for the soaring. Wait cue to die down. We like an Asian noodle and classic sandwich offering. This is where Ellie got that cupcake and said, I love it. I love it, Evan. I love it. <laughs> and then she looked at me and she said, if I love it, why am I going to eat it? <laughs> <laughs> it was her beauty. Yes, I know that. I've had authentic tacos, Katrina. I've been to an authentic taco or a Mexican restaurant. So next up is one of our favorites, the Garden Grill. Yes, I do love the Garden Grill. Yeah. Although we've never been for anything more than breakfast. Exactly. I think so, I would like something other than breakfast. Right. I, I think we we sh should try it for something other than breakfast. Yeah. Because everything I think is it everything in Epcot comes from what's in the land. I think so. Yes. I didn't know if it was just for sure. There. Everything at the the land, land yes. comes from everything at the land. But. This looks like, I mean, every time we've had breakfast there, it's awesome. And uh, we actually looked to try to get reservations the last time we was there. For lunch. And we couldn't. Yeah. Well, I think we tried for breakfast, too. Yeah, we tried for anything because we and like it that much. That's why we ended up going to Whispering Canyon. Mm -hmm. So. Now, have we ever seen Goofy? 
I think we've only ever seen Chip, Dale, Mickey, and Pluto. And wasn't it? Yeah, wasn't many there. And too? many. I yeah. don't think Goofy ever. I don't came think I've around, ever seen though. Goofy there. But great, uh, Chef de France. So I, like I said, I've never ate at any place in France. Well, there's a lots of places in world showcases that we haven't tried. Yeah, that we've we really got to kind of branch out with so, that. But we love that this is one of the cheaper and yet still cultural and fancy restaurants in Epcot. You can get basically like ratatouille, lasagna, and chicken, or step it up a notch with a braised duck, salmon, escargot, and more exquisite cuisine. The gas, the, I don't know, chocolate is by far one of the best chocolate cakes layered with mousse you will ever have. Be sure to indulge the dessert while you're here. So... Yeah, they, they don't have a picture. That's the one thing either. So they didn't have one for the Garden Grill either. No, I so. thought that was the picture for it. But no, I think no. that's I think that's Regal Eagle. Yeah, I think it is too. It is. Yeah. So Regal Eagle Barbecue Smokehouse, which I think that looks awesome. But I just didn't care for it. That's <laughs> all. Oh my God. As the new kid on the block in Epcot's quick service lineup, the barbecue smokehouse has tons of flavor options and a plant based burger, too. We like this new addition as a casual sit down restaurant. If you want something a little more unique than your typical burger and fries, be sure to try all the barbecue sauces. So that sounds great. Hey, Melek. Melek Adventures. So. This looks awesome. Okay, so I don't have a problem with the Regal Eagle Smokehouse. I think it's cool they use like a garlic bread for their bun on all their sandwiches, except for the one up here that you saw that basically used onion rings. It's cool. It's great. I just didn't personally didn't like it that much. So then they have oh. Via Napoli. Yes. Uh, in Italy. And it's the pizza. Is this where the pizza window is? Yes, but it, I've never been to the actual restaurant oh, I wow. want to go. You can find some pretty great margarita pizza here. It's also one of those classier places where if you have two hours and want to lounge about eating Italian and sipping wine, you absolutely can. As far it's as Italian, Italian on dream. Disney property, this one is pretty close to the top withstanding Disney Springs multitude of up and coming Italian restaurants. Of course, what we don't love is that it's kind of pricey here. Yes, but it is my dream <laughs> to lounge around and eat Italian food and drink wine. <laughs> All right. Their next one is, oh, oh so this is October ones that almost, Fest. almost made the list. So you, we got Tapanitos almost made the list. Uh, Oh, beer garden, yeah. Yeah, beer gardens and Katsura Grill. I don't like beer garden. My roommates love it and always want to go. So now they, there's some that they hadn't tried, so obviously that's why. And La Cellier's is on there. There's Monjour Paul, Takumi Te, Spice Road Table, which I think that's in Morocco, right? I've heard good things. And Tangerine Cafe, which I would say is probably China. Um, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Sounds about right. But so from that, we're going to move on over to Hollywood, Hollywood Studios, Studios for the best snacks at Hollywood Studios. Buy polka dots and pixie dust. Oh. Wait, I want them to... Oh my gosh. What? I want them to tell me what that is, first of all, but I get I'm these sure, things all the I'm time. I'm sure they will. You get these all the time. Yeah. So lunchbox box lunchbox tarts. What is lunchbox at Toy Story Land? So obviously it said shareable. Shareable. <laughs> That's what it said. I liked them. I think I I think it's pretty good. It's a I mean, you know, who you don't find anybody who usually makes pop tarts. Usually you just buy them out of a box. So, <laughs> yeah, they're good, but, but they're not shareable. <laughs> Eat those bad boys by yourself. <laughs> so there we go. We got that. The next up is tachos at Woody's, at Woody's Lunchbox. Lunchbox. I don't know what tachos are. But they're it's... nachos made out of tots. Oh, or okay. I'm sorry, out of potato barrels. Potato barrels. <laughs> not allowed to call them potato tots. Or well, tots. not when you're at Woody's Lunchbox. Okay. 
I bet Woody doesn't. It, looks, it says it has Fred Fred Fritos in it as well. Probably. So, but it sounds good. I don't know. I've heard a lot of people it. like it. There's also a vegan option for it. Look so. what's next. Oh, yeah. Num num cookies. Num num cookies. Neighborhood bakery. Pixar place. I bet the num num likes that too. <laughs> but Heaven says this. She she had one and let us try it. And she says she feels like it's got a lot of dairy in it because she feels like she has milk breath yeah, after she eats it. I do. So get real frothy. <laughs> I tried it. I thought it was delicious. It's more like almost like a chocolate chip cupcake. Yeah, basically. Yeah. It's very thick. Yeah. It's, and very doughy. It, yeah. It's really, really good because usually when you get it, it's warm. And grab your cup of milk from Joffrey's for the cookie. <laughs> yeah. Well, I already have milk breath. I might as well. <laughs> but yeah, I, I liked it. It's really good. It's really gooey because, like I said, it's warm when you get it. It's so. like one of those things, though, that if you're not careful, it's going to make your belly hurt. That's true. So next we had... Oh, by the way, Depcot Snacks. I'm upset school bread wasn't on there. Oh, okay. All right. Butterfinger Cupcakes from the Charlie Carr Cafe and Starbucks, Sunset Boulevard. So I've never I had... I feel like this is like... I feel like anything from the Starbucks, though, is such a cheat because they change all the time. They're just like... I feel like they don't ever have the same snack continuously like some of the other places in Disney do. Really? Yeah. Well, this must be something that's always there from what it sounds. Maybe, but I highly doubt it. I think it looks good. I yeah, it does look good. It's covered in Butterfinger. I'd try it. So... Next is, it says funnel cakes. So obviously they must not have Yeah. funnel cakes at Epic Eats at Echo Lake. Yeah. So while we That's where tend we to love funnel cream. cakes over in Epcot World Showcase American Billion, these work too. So, so funnel cakes. They're usually powdered sugar and sometimes can't you get strawberries and stuff like that? Strawberries and vanilla ice cream according to this. Oh, wow. Or the cookies and cream variety. They have... <laughs> so. Cookies and cream variety. Wow, that's probably maybe it's cookies and cream ice cream on it, or maybe it's a cookies and cream dough that they made. Maybe I don't know. I guess I'll find out. Yeah. So next is Ronto morning wraps, and this is at Ronto Roasters back in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Mm -hmm. I've I've never really ate anything back there. Well, you can definitely grab the regular Ronto wrap with coleslaw. We also love the Ronto Morning Wrap as a great snack. The soft pita is filled with egg omelet, grilled pork sausage, shredded cheese, and peppercorn sauce. Oh, you can also request it without the sausage, or if you're vegetarian or vegan, or if you're just me and don't like sausage. Wow. So, this next one, I don't know if you've had it. I haven't had it, but I know Haley has. Haley has? Yeah. Are you sure? The peanut butter and jelly shake at 50s prime time cafe and tune in lounge there at echo lake yes i'm pretty sure she's had it huh so i don't know uh i like peanut butter and jelly actually tastes like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich right but usually if i want a peanut butter and jelly sandwich i'll just get a peanut butter and jelly hey jonathan chong thanks for coming in buddy but uh yeah you know huh. i don't know i even i've they've got the one place we go to over at over there, they have a beer that has peanut butter and jelly. Wow. I just, I don't know. I'm just not attracted to something that tastes like peanut butter and jelly. Oh, that shot that I had the other night was good. So, and then uh, popcorn and souvenir buckets. Popcorn. Popcorn car <laughs> everywhere. Okay. But, like, <laughs> is that fair? Like. <laughs> After that, they have the Mustafari and Lava Roll. Docking Bay 7. Food and Cargo. Galaxy's Edge. They don't have a picture of it. It'd be nice. I've never even seen oh, anything so like this. it's not the pretzel. No. So um, I think the pretzel is the one from Germany. Bavarian pretzel, baseline tap house. Oh, I'm wrong. Well, you would be because we're in oh, Hollywood yeah, I Studios. Forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot we moved on. So I'm taking a guess. This is probably mustard and this is the beer cheese. Yeah, I would go with that too. So, oh, and I think he Heaven or Haley and your mom had this whenever I had got a, a beer flight while we were there. Well, I don't know because I wasn't with you. No, I'm sorry. 
but I was just telling you what was going on. Mm. All right. Next up we have. Oh, I've heard about these. I've heard they're the key good. Key lime pie on a stick at neighborhood bakery at Pixar Place. I've heard it's really good. Yeah. Sounds a little concerning, especially because it's supposed to be key lime and it's blue. Hey, Lori Jean. So, yeah. Hey, Mar. I think Mar was here. Wasn't yeah, she? Mar's been yeah, in here. Sorry. <laughs> but hey, Mar, anyway. Warm plastic cheese. <laughs> but I don't know. I'd give this a try. I think. The color of it's kind of weird. Yeah. But... How is that key lime? Yeah. It's blue. It's like it's like periwinkle. Yeah. It says it's pop si popsicle style. Hmm. So um Napoleon trolley car and Starbucks sunset. Napoleons. I want what's I don't know what that is. Another snack we also adore over at La Hollis. In Epcot, France, you can also grab it at Starbucks and Hollywood Studios. Oh. The flaky pastry filled with pastry cream and white frosting is to die for an extra luscious snack. But you can also grab the raspberry version, which includes a raspberry cream center and raspberry frosting if you want a little extra pizzazz. Carrot cake cookie, the trolley car cafe in Starbucks. Uh, I hadn't had that. I think I've seen it, though, before. Uh, churros at the Pretzel Cart near Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. I've, you know, I've never had a churro. I know. We've talked about yeah. this. I only got one once because I had to use my coupons. Here, have Speaking it. Speaking of which, I never got my coupons. <laughs> Did I just see someone shaving their leg? You might have. We're on a website, so there might be somebody on it. Oh, I think I saw it, too. <laughs> Cream cheese pretzel. Near Mickey and Minnie's uh, Runaway, no. so it's a pretzel cart. He it's not good. Heaven doesn't like it. I'm sorry, it's not good. So, but those were the best snacks at Hollywood Studios. They didn't. They didn't do anything like no. So we will we'll move on over to the restaurant. The, right, the restaurants that polka dots and pixie dust have picked. Wow, so best Hollywood really Studio restaurants and what to skip. Ways, huh? Still haven't seen any of the what to skip i think all right so the first one is oh this so we're still oh the base it is the baseline tap room so the only thing i've got in there was i i you can make your own beer flight so I, you know and the only thing the your mom like i said they got mm -hmm. that they the got pretzel. that pretzel in that so i don't know if it doesn't i don't think it it says, a term of good baseline tap house manages to combine some gorgeous vintage bar theming with the classic bar menu, special drinks, flavored gourmet sodas give us an excuse to stop for something classic in the midst of all the theme park hoopla. Keep an eye out for the vintage Disneyland posters hanging up inside the bar, seating inside and out. They really don't tell you what to try, so I, I guess the pretzel is... I don't know what I didn't see anything else unless they have like chips, but that says drinks and snacks, more specifically a charcuterie board and pretzels. Okay. So next is Woody's lunchbox. So they have breakfast, lunch, and dinner classics like PB and J, tomato soup, and grilled cheese and lunchbox sandwiches can be found here. Um, and just because I'm always obligated to say something to you know upset my roommate just so you're aware they only have two registers there though so do with that what you may <laughs> <laughs> completely outdoors this quick service counter offers some of the best food in the park the dishes are familiar yet kicked up a notch to make them special homemade pop tarts for breakfast and classic turkey sandwiches may be just what you need on a busy disney day <laughs> COVID solid Cheerios were a treat from cold <laughs> rubbery scrambled eggs. <laughs> All right. Uh, 1950s prime time cafe. Uh, we like it. Yeah. I like it. Uh, I think there's probably a picture down below, maybe. Yeah. Uh, I didn't see it. It usually would be in between there. Well, maybe. Yeah, but you got an ad. Yeah. Okay. There it is. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a good experience. It you is. You have to know that you're going in for an experience as well. Yes. You can't get offended. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
it's I like the food there. The food's really good there and everything like that. Uh, if she if you want to talk about what she's talking about, why we were there, there was a guy who was refusing to eat his green beans, but he wanted the dessert. And they said, if you want dessert, they put whipped cream on top of his green beans. <laughs> um, there, there's your dessert. <laughs> but like I also had gotten offended one day. And like, like I said, you have to know what you're going into. And I was just kind of, I was already a little hangry. I was in, I was in a bad mood. And I don't even remember what he said to me, but like, I think I'd wanted some kind of sauce and I was just so angry. I was like, oh, I'm not going to ask for it. And my mom asked for it. And because the whole, the whole setup is, you know, that they're supposed to be kind of sassy with you. He had said something along the lines of, oh, she can't ask herself. And I was like, ah! um, obviously I was angry. So, wow, that wasn't very many of them. No. So Hollywood studio restaurants that almost made the list. Sci-fi and dine in. Uh, it's all right. I wouldn't say that the food is not been in such a long time. Yeah, I don't think it, the food's that something you go for. I think sci-fi dine in is for the experience as well because yeah. you sit in a car and You're it's like, like an old drive yeah drive-in. In ABC Commissary. Love the ABC. I love, yeah, yeah, it's one of my go-tos. Yeah, and the Backlot Express always you has know, something good. I, I remember liking it a lot when I was younger, and, like, we went, and then when I started working there, I was like, oh, I don't really enjoy Backlot that much, but this last time we went, I did like it. It was pretty good. Now, they said Hollywood Studio Restaurants on our list to try is Mama Melrose. Now, I mean, we might have to retry that one. I was told I should yeah. try it out again. And then uh, Hollywood Derby Lounge. Is that the outside or is that inside? I believe that. I think it's outside, but I so, don't know. So I don't know. I, I'd, I'd like to go there because they have a hamburger with a, a fried egg on it. I think that'd be really good. Mm -hmm. uh, Pizza Rizzo. It's kind of hard to find, catch that place when it's open. Yeah, it's got very limited hours. So, but it's basically, I think we've ate there, but we also ate there when it was uh, Pizza Planet mm -hmm. as well. So uh, Docking Bay 7, food and cargo, never ate. I've heard a it's place, pretty good. But I've never ate at a place back in Galaxy's Edge. No. Now, Ogus Cantina, we was there when we went for cast member previews. Yep. We had drinks. Yeah. I don't think if they had anything that I remember. The only thing I got that was even more food-like than drink-like was that weird cotton candy thing. Right. So, so we're going to move on over to the best snacks at Animal, Animal Kingdom. Kingdom. All right. And what do they have? Animal Kingdom snacks on where to find them. Fried rice, Shack and Yeti, local food cafe. So I've never ate at the Yak and Yeti. Have you? No, nope, me either. No. I've heard it's good, though. Yeah. I'd probably be willing to try it. Yeah, I probably yeah. should. So, But I always use that joke. I don't like Yak or Yeti. Yeah, but, I know. Yes. <laughs> so... But I don't know. Maybe we'll try it sometime. I don't know much about it, but it says we love that you can get delicious fried rice from a quick service restaurant in Animal Kingdom, full of flavor and a pretty good portion size for the price. You can't go wrong with the fried rice from Yak and Yeti. Pair it with a side of egg rolls and you can actually make an entire meal for less than ten dollars. Perfectly portable and a little to go box. It's easy to see why this is a fan favorite. So uh, next up, they have Buffalo Chicken Chips from Tri Trilo Bites and Dinoland. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I think it's Trillo Bites. Trillo Bites. Have you ever had it? Um, No. No? no I don't even know if that's actually how you say it. So uh, Animal King of Snacks come in all shapes and sizes, and this one is gigantic. We don't make it to Dinoland as much as we probably should, but when we do... We almost remember to stop by Trillo, Trillo, Trillo Bites. Mm. Not only are the buffalo chicken chips absolutely full of flavor and oh so delicious, but they are ultra shareable. These chips are well seasoned and top buffalo chicken. Argue, how do you say Arugula. It? Arugula, diced celery, and tomato and crumble blue cheese with blue cheese dressing. One of our favorites. At Animal Kingdoms, these are pure dino mites. The yeah, yeah. I can't even tell you which one of those small restaurants this place is. I don't know, but I'm gonna tell you right now, I wouldn't get it. I don't like blue cheese. Yeah. So but 
Let's see. Next up. I don't know what that is. Pongu Loompa. Pong at Pongu Pongu. At Pongu Pongu. So that's there at Pandora. Pandora. So I, I I think it's like a spring roll. That's okay. Oh, I think I know what it is. It's I think it's like the spring roll. It's got like the pastry cream cheese inside. It's good in this, not in the pretzels. Okay. So it says since Pandora opened at Animal Kingdom in 2017, oh, yeah, we can't get is. enough of it. The scenery is amazing. The vibe is relaxing. And the food has quickly risen to the top of our favorite list. Although the night blossoms really seem to be the fan no, favorite. No, those of are gross. Pandora, the Pongu yeah. Lumpia from Pongu Pongu is one of our favorite spring rolls filled with warm cream cheese and pineapple and fried to light and crispy perfections. Yep. This snack is not too sweet and is super portable. So you can enjoy them wherever you snack. Loving her. Didn't desire. we get this? I've never had it. Are you sure? Yeah. Kind of swore you had it. Anyway, mm -hmm. it's delicious. You should definitely try it. It's fantastic. Love it so much. So next up is giant cinnamon roll at Kusafari Bakery of Creature Comforts in Africa. I don't even remember seeing that. And we go in there all the time. Yeah. Yeah. But we're always on the hunt for a good cinnamon roll. And one you can find at this little unassuming cart near the Kilimanjaro Safari sign is quite perfect as a sweet snack for two. If you're looking to get your sugar and carb fix for the morning, this giant cinnamon roll can be found. Oh, if it's at the cart, maybe it's outside, not the one inside. Right. So... I don't know. I, I think it looks good. Yeah, it looks cool. It, it almost looks like a. it could be done for uh, Halloween. Mm -hmm. It's a Mickey mummy. Mouse mummy. Yeah. So <laughs> let's see. Next up looks like Mr. Kamal's seasoned fries. Mr. Kamal car at Africa to, to Asia. I don't know where this is. It's a card, uh, obviously. Yeah, it's those two little carts by the bathrooms there as you're coming okay. from Africa walking to Asia. Oh, okay. The smoking section used to be to the right of it. Uh, these fries are everything good seasoned fry fries should be. Salty, crispy, spicy, and a little bit of cool to balance it out. Topped with, I don't know how Tzadi to... Uh, tzatziki. Okay, and sriracha. These may not be the first thing you think of when you think of Asian food. But they're delicious, so we'll just go with it. <laughs> I like french fries. Yeah, but I don't like it topped with a bunch of spicy. Yeah. Next up is falafel, falafel with... Falafel with tzatziki. Oh, falafel with tzatziki. <laughs> Mr. Kamal, same thing, right? Mm -hmm. We love falafel and hold it to pretty high standards. So when we saw that Animal Kingdom has falafel from a quick... Surf stand, we knew we had to try it out. Full of flavor, perfect texture, and served with a side of tzatziki. tzatziki. I think. I'm pretty sure. You'd never guess these came from a quick serve stand at the theme park. We love that it's great vegetarian option, which can sometimes be difficult to find. So, I don't think I've ever had anything like that. No, me either. Here we go. Baked macaroni and cheese. From the Eight Spoon Cafe. Eight, eight Spoon Cafe. Baked macaroni and cheese need we say more. Not likely, but just in case, we all will. Anyway, the baked macaroni and cheese from Eight Spoon Cafe comes in three flavors. Plain cheese, topped with pulled pork, or really turning it up, a few nachos, and topped with shrimp and chili sauce. All are a snack credit, are generally portioned, and super flavorful. Eight Spoon, along with many of the snack carts across the park, are closed during the off-season. So depending on when you're traveling, be aware of this. I don't even know where Eight Spoon Cafe it says is. It's at, it says Discovery Island Bridge. Yeah, but I don't know where that is. Know. Next up is also from that cart. Man. Mr. Kamal's. Yeah, chicken dumplings. So... Newly discovered Animal Kingdom, this little treat of chicken dumplings coming in ponsu sauce and has replaced the falafel. Oh. The sauce is well, vinegar-based and the dumplings are great with or without. An order is three dumplings, so definitely more of a snack than a meal. 
This is also one of the new snacks at Walt Disney World, so be sure to try this one. Now, why would you tell us about the falafel <laughs> to then tell us that it's been replaced? Like, I wasn't going to try the falafel, but someone <laughs> might have. Why did you do this to us? <laughs> All right, so the way we got next. Churros. Churros. Nomad Lounge. Path to Pandora. So, like I said, I've never tried churros, but most of the times they come with chocolate sauce, right? Chocolate or caramel. So, but you could get it with cheese. Yeah. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I just I got, wanted to see. I guess what maybe a say. cream cheese wouldn't be so I bad. See what a you sweet would cream say. cheese. Yeah. yeah, they would. Yeah, we know they have plenty of that. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in all their freaking. <laughs> Oh, they're darn so That was the bowls. best snacks at Animal Kingdom. Yep. By polka dots and pixie dust. All right. Up next is the restaurants. And let's see what restaurants they like. So where to eat in Animal Kingdom? Animal Kingdom restaurants. Satuli's Canteen. Oh, I do love Satuli's. And so. you should. Did I have you try their chocolate cake that day? I think so. Did you like it? I don't remember. <laughs> oh my God, because I don't think I could ever forget their cheesecake. So, so I do know Satuli's, it says, has been praised. And I, I've heard a lot about Satuli's and how they, everybody likes it. So. We did eat there, right? Yeah, we ate there. I've never ate there. Wait, no, we ate there outside last time we were there. I don't think so. Yes, we did. I remember. I. We've we had mobile. this conversation before, and I don't. No, think we we did this last time you guys were there. We mobile ordered, and we sat outside, and Haley and Mom walked up and sat with us. I just said, "Did I have you try their chocolate cake?" And you said, "Yes, I think so." I think you just got the chocolate cake. Maybe that's all I got. That's but we cool. did eat there. <laughs> <laughs> so next up, guess what it is, Mister Kamal's food card. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm wondering why they picked this. Um, there was so many different snacks. Of food. <laughs> I only ever get a large water because they give you a large water for free at this one. And, and look what they say. Grab the falafel with tzatziki. <laughs> the falafel that's not there anymore. Obviously, it's not there anymore. You're going to have to get the dumplings. The chicken and dumplings. So is what rude. They, so, but, so I. It's, I I don't think I'd ever heard How of a, deceiving. A, it, when you go, you're looking at restaurants, a food cart. This is wow. Listen, there are some food carts that I would recommend. So well, that's supposed to be that night thing. Oh, Pongu Pongu. Yeah. So Pongu Pongu is next. So it's in Pandora. I don't know. I don't think I know where this is. But it's right there by the exit of the gift shop. Is it? Yeah, like it's between the so like you exit the gift shop from Flights of Passage because you know like you exit Flights of Passage and it pulls you, pulls you through the gift shop. Right. So here's the gift shop. Here's Satuli's Canteen. Here's Pongu Pongu. Gotcha. All right, coming up next is the Kusafar Coffee Kus Shop in Safari. Yeah, and it's in Africa. So mm -hmm. obviously because of the giant cinnamon rolls. <laughs> so, <laughs> so. <laughs> But uh, I don't know. It looks know. like everywhere that their favorite snacks yeah. are. Uh, and it doesn't seem like there's a lot of places to go in Animal Kingdom. Right. They also have the Eight Spoon Cafe. Yeah, that's why I said that. Yeah, it's on there. Yeah, of course, it's where their are Which is on the bridge from Asia oh, it wasn't to the Discovery Island. That they liked, was it? I don't know. Yeah, we recommend it. They like the because... loaded mac and cheese. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the Mickey pretzels. And yeah. Let's see. What else? Was that it? The Nomad Lounge was for the Nomad. Lounge. Was for the churros. Okay. That's a walk away to Pandora. Yeah, that's right there, like by uh Festival of the Lion King, just off to the left a little bit. The Animal Kingdom restaurants that almost, almost the Tusker, made it. Tusker you... House. <laughs> flame Tree Barbecue. We do like frame, Flame Tree. I would put Flame Tree Barbecue above a lot of those yeah. that they had on yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. I like Tusker House a lot. Trillo Bites. Is another one, and it says our list to try Yak and Yeti for the dim sum. Oh, here they have ones. You oh, can skip. they got to the skip. They got the Rainforest Cafe, which I like the Rainforest. I like it as well. Uh, Restaurantosaurus. I don't think I've ate there since it's not McDonald's anymore. I have not great Pizza Fari. I like pizza, I like Pizza, pizza Fari. Fari. Uh, best restaurants in Animal Kingdom. So that finishes that up. Uh, we did the snacks already, mm -hmm. so we got a little bit of time. So let's go ahead. We're going to go Sorry. a little bit over. 
but we have time to see some of the new stuff from the parks. Oh, that's the Star Wars one? The Naboo. Oh, yeah. oh I, I really like all of the Star yeah. Wars spirit jerseys. Mickey Mouse animal print spirit? Not really a big fan of that one. <laughs> they got the red Funko Pop pin. Oh, cute. They got the orange bird Funko Pop pin. Yeah, he looks fuzzy. Cute. So, uh, let's see. They got the Jolly Roger Funko Pop pin. Oh, man. There's the Minnie Mouse Bow oh. Magic King. Yeah, you put your uh, yeah, your yeah. magic band in there. Right. Uh, they have the Mickey Mouse Magic Band 2. The Hollywood Studios yeah. one. That's pretty neat. Uh, this is Stitch Sundress for adults. It says for adults. Yeah, I, I really say like women, the pop. But... The pop pins are cool too. Cruella Deville cocktail dress. Dad Disney now has an inclusive key, and they're being inclusive to everyone who wants to wear a dress. They have a Mickey Mouse animal print spirit, spirit jersey. jersey. Yeah, they have that up above too. I don't. Oh, that's, that's for the Disneyland. Disneyland. Yeah, I'm just not a fan. They have the Frozen Ever After fifth oh anniversary my God. magic. They're doing Man. this whole animal print thing. Also, they call those clogs. They're crocs. <laughs> print clogs for adult by clog. Clogs. Oh. What? It's a Disney. It's a small world. No. Dooney and Burke satchel. I was talking about the the puzzle. Oh, the that's, puzzle is that's the, the kind of puzzles I've. The been Haunted Mansion fiftieth anniversary jigsaw. You figure if it was the 50th anniversary, it would have been there. So, I mean, maybe not because the person had to make it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. They have a mini mouse card wallet. Alice in Wonderland crossbody bag by Kate Spade, New York. That is Quasimodo and the Esmerella Magic Band. I don't think I've ever seen Quasimodo on a Magic Band before. Me either. Or Esmeralda. They have the Disney It's a Small World Dooney and Burke wristlet wallet. Move on down. No, Katrina, you're right. The Crocs are not cute. <laughs> Those earrings are, though. Those are not for $100. They're not. Let's, let's go in order. Have it's, Disney what? Pixar jumpsuit okay, for well, the jumpsuit is ugly. <laughs> we have the Minnie Mouse icon pearl earrings yeah they're pretty until you see the price 100 bucks mm -hmm, they're not so pretty anymore I think it's kind of cheap for pearls i mean i guess mickey mouse ear hat necklace uh the so the this is your AirPods. but for pro oh uh, we're still cheap and we don't have pro rafiki's baseball cap for adults i kind of like that good vibes only mm-hmm here's oh. your this this goes with your uh with don't your wear that jersey. with your spirit jersey. <laughs> you don't do that. Oh my gosh. Mickey Mouse icon turquoise ring. Yep, I like that too. Not for the price. I don't though. know why this is on here twice. Um yep, it's the exact same thing. Yeah. Then you got the turquoise necklace. Oh my gosh, I You've love got that the pearl necklace. pendant. But of course it's on. Fantasyland ring. Oh. Oh. Is that Dumbo? It's Dumbo and the teacups and Small World and the carousel and the castle. Okay. And oh my gosh, I think I need it. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey and Minnie Mouse rainbow. Yeah, no, I'm going to spend that. Then we got the turquoise hoop earrings. The Mickey Mouse icon yellow gold bangle. I'm so sad now. Stitched record crossbody. <laughs> Mickey and Minnie Mouse rainbow. I'm going down. Mickey and Mickey or Minnie Mouse and Daisy Duck besties, besties. For, for dogs. dogs. Yep. I'm not kidding. Oh my god, I could get that for both Violet and Raya. <laughs> Cinderella coach rose gold. That's pretty. Mickey Mouse icon yellow gold ring. The stitch sculpted. You can put your donut in the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's for. Oh my God. <laughs> You've oh my got God. a friend in me. This is a t-shirt for I dogs. I for her and all of 
the boy dogs. The Minnie Mouse icon necklace. Mickey and Minnie Mouse stationary pendant necklace. Then, of course, they have the earrings for the for the um, Mickey Mouse ear hat earrings. Disneyland, living my best life, pullover hoodie for adults. This Mickey Mouse t-shirt for dogs. Oh my god! See if they made, I would wear that if they made one they for me. They probably do. <laughs> They're so cute. You just need them to sell a yellow one. Then they, then they got the up t-shirt for dogs. I just met you and I love you. Yeah, that Freya needs that. They got the Disneyland one as well. Just like the Disney. And then they have Disney Park Wishable Mystery Pin Set Blind Pack. Yeah, we said we should not tell my friend Ashley they have those. <laughs> um, and she said she couldn't get them anyway. So, let's see. I think it's it. Mm -hmm. So, we've gone a little bit over. I hope you guys enjoyed this. We had fun. Uh, obviously, it's not what we normally do. But, hopefully... You know, we showed you some stuff. I thought it was kind of neat to go through and stuff like a ha ha ha. Maybe you get the dog shirt and the XXL. It will fit you. I I, I don't think the armholes would be in the no, right place. They wouldn't. <laughs> you would have to wear it backwards. So, uh, but thank you all for coming in and joining us tonight. Uh, Heaven's going to be leaving to go back here pretty soon. Uh, I've will have an adventure video out this week. So look forward to that. I will tell you what it is. It was, it's our niece's quinceanera. quinceanera. Or if you roll your R's, a quinceanera. So uh, basically what it is to me is giving making a 15-year-old girl feel like she's a princess for a day. Is what That's it's, pretty much it. Yeah, but so, it's supposed to be. But it, it was really fun. And uh, I'll be putting that video out on Thursday. Uh, I'll be doing a Disney updates. I know I didn't do much last week. Everything kind of fell apart last week. I have, we have, Heaven and I haven't done sweets and treats because the week before Heaven had her resort stay mm -hmm. and then we knew she was coming home and I just didn't figure she wanted to do it Tuesday night. So that's why. Yeah. Cause I was leaving. I left to drive home on Wednesday. So also, uh, and so we weren't going to do it tonight. But we just said, let's go ahead and do it. And you can come down here and do it. Do this here. Uh, I have la also Bob had problems with his computer. So that's why I didn't do the Star Wars hour last week. So hopefully we'll be doing it tomorrow. I've sent Bob a text message asking if we're okay for tomorrow. He hasn't answered me back. I think it's probably because he's at work. Uh, but uh, also, you know, that's, that, I think it's going to be it. Oh, oh. Uh, one of the things maybe people might not know that something I, I did a little differently with the channel is every other week now, you're going to get a reaction video on Monday and Tuesday every other week. And then the other other weeks, you're going to get a reaction video and Disney Roundup because Disney Roundup's taking why, a while to, they, they take a while to edit. So, and I'd rather have that long a time to be able to edit it and put something out good than to have something that looks like I just threw it together. So, but as for that, that's going to be it. So thank you all for joining us tonight. And I hope we see you next week for sweets and treats. Yeah. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.